in the last video I made a beginning and I did paperclip everything and take taken a lot of them out <laughs> already and started so I made a spread and I'm going to show you and I'm also going to do some little embellishments and take you with me on camera so let's get going you were born to be on display and I'm hard to read hi my name is Marion and I'm so glad that you are joining me outside there is a real autumn storm going on with rain and wind and all of it so uh, I'm sitting happily in my craft room and continuing with my fabric journal so do watch the my previous video which I get it started with this uh, fabric journal from Tim Holtz it's a ready-made journal and I am using a lot of paper and fabric to cover all the pages up so it's going to be black and white and neutrals so I'm going to show you the spread I made. I'm not working in a very like start on page one and then the second and then third. No, I just, my attention gets drawn to something and I just start. And I can also, as I will show you, <laughs> go into details, making little stuff. Um, and then just focusing on that, I jump around. So, this is not even so the first page, but this is the spread I made. Let's get it close a little bit. It is, well, almost finished. I'm not going to um, finish it quite because I'm going to do all the pages as far as I can and then just see where things are missing and I could maybe embellish something on here but I'm not um, feel drawn to do that right now and I made a pocket by this uh, two pages are um, sewn together I did a lot of sewing because I think uh, the book will will be uh, longer uh, together <laughs> then when I glue things and maybe things will go apart and uh, so I try to sew a lot it's a challenge because it's not really easy to sew it I have to be very mindful about what am I doing first and then second so yeah there's a lot of thinking and strategic uh, planning involved but it makes it really nice when you see the progress I also try to uh, sew the threads because I have a lot of threads and if I keep them hanging it will only get worse so I'm trying like here sewing the threads I'm just um, putting them on the page and then sewing over them and I think that's also a really nice gives a really nice uh, embellishment and interest on the page and a really nice use of these threads so I think I'm going to do that with those as well um, let me show you what I did so here there is a tuck spot and there is a card on it I have embellished the card just a little bit just a bit of fabric here and I did some stamping these are not Tim holes I use I think 90% Tim Holtz but I do have some other items and I do like these stamps and they go very well with this and I have um, I must yes I have embossed them with scorched timber so I just uh, uh, stamped with embossing ink and then embossed them and on the other side I've used a wildflower die cut on the black craft stock which I sanded a little bit arrow from the 
chapter three. I have a lot. I've played a lot with chapter three. Uh, if you saw my posts, I'm just I don't know. Sometimes I see them. It's my favorite dice, so um, can get really into them. So this this can be tucked into here, and maybe there's going to be some more in it. I don't know. Then here is a really nice photo. And I have put, this is also a um, die cut. And I have folded, it's a long strip. I've cut two, so see, this is a very long strip. And I have folded it around and put an eyelet through. And then, yeah, you see, the little I made so many of these labels I have now going to use them a lot because I have a real big supply of them now these labels from uh, chapter 3 die so um, and this there's nothing in it but there is a tuck spot here so so this is two uh, three four <laughs> here's the five it really was a coincidence. I don't know. Maybe it was just subconscious. I don't know. <laughs> I just put them on and I thought, oh, the five is already here. So, um, okay. So this is the spread I made. And then, um, let's see. I wanted to do on this page, there's collage paper on here from the new uh, the new uh, serendipity i really love those flowers there is some stamping underneath because there was an old page i had to like put some stuff on it because there was a red flower and um, maybe you can see just a hint a hint of it but i did some gessoing on it some stenciling and stamping and everything so okay now here the flower is on. I think this is really a nice page that doesn't need that much. So I thought I want a like a number on it or a big number. So I have stamped a number. Let's see. Um, I think I did this one first. This is uh, from Eccentric, of course, the number five. I have the stamp set. Uh, one of the first ones I've bought, but I never did the number five. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it is like, I don't know. I just thought, let's use the number five. But then uh, I just did it in black ink and clear embossed it. So it was nice and shiny. And then I put it on. I thought, no, this is not the correct color. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the black. It's just not fitting with this. Can you see that? It's just not the same black. So I've stamped again with black ink, but now embossed it with scorch timber. And then you get a really different kind of black. Can you see the difference? I don't know if this, you can see that really well on camera, but this is more like a brown brownish black so this one goes better because this black is also a little bit of a vintage brownish black and it also fits with this paper so i'm going to put the five i, I don't have the heart to put it on the flower <laughs> i just okay we, i'm going to put it here so this one is going in my stash for another Put it on my tray with all the things I have already made. It's a really big tray. And um, and I thought I have selected a number strip. Gone through it and I thought this is a nice one. And also fits with the five, five o'clock. So I thought let's put it a little bit under. And then... Do it like this. And then I think this page doesn't need that much anymore until now. Maybe when I finish the book, there's going to be maybe a clip on it or 
something, I don't know, but for now I think it depends on what I'm going to do with this page, of course. But this I want to attach to here. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to etch this. I'm etching a lot with the um, Scorched Timber Oxide. Let's see, this one fits very well with this journal. And I think it will give, it gives something extra if you do things like this. So it can be, sometimes I'm sanding the edges. I also think that's very nice. So sanding or with the scissors, um, making the edge a little bit, um, how do you say it? The same as you do with a decal trimmer. Do you call that like a decal edge? I don't know. These three uh, things I like to alternate and let's see. I also do use, um, let's see, is this is the correct spot? I think, uh, use different glues. I'm using, uh, the collage medium. I like that one, but I'm also using this one. I want something um, to glue very fast, <laughs> but they're both excellent. And I've not, um, but sometimes you need some wiggle room and then I'm using this or when it's like a different substrates to glue to each other. Um, I'm relying more on the collage medium, but for just paper, um, yes, let's see if I can stay and then I think I'm going to use this one. Then using my tweezers so I can get the correct position. I think it's like here. Yes. So this this one, then gluing this one. And I thought, what well, it is really lovely, big number. I think on this, I like this page. So I'm going to do uh, one thing more. And uh, let's go to another page I want to do. This is the last page of the first signature. This one. And I'm doing a pocket on here. I've already prepared it somehow, somewhat. <laughs> I've already prepared it. And... Um, I left it open because of maybe I want to attach it through sewing and then I can glue it uh, shut later. And I uh, left a comment uh, of a, or I asked for a comment on how to attach this to the page. So I um, got a comment and um, by hinging it. So I thought, yes. I do really love that idea. So I hope I can explain this to you that you're not getting confused <laughs> um, because this is about the strategic planning bit. Okay, what I have prepared are the hinges. Uh, I had some uh, strips because I have cut uh, a strip of the page. So I have... Uh, I had a strip of this just canvas and I have uh, spray, uh, sprayed it with some different inks. You can see that through and then put some uh, collage paper on top. So these are two hinges and I want to do it like this, attach it to the page. So far so good, right? 
But now, of course, it is what do you want to do first? So because I do want to uh, sew everything, that makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, it is, I want to sew this to the page, of course, this to the page and to the envelope. But then, of course, we have the back side, and you have to be mindful of that because all the sewing is going to be uh, noticeable on this side. Um, and maybe you can, I can do that the same time. So this is what I want to do on this side. So I want to do the sewing at the same time so I can finish two pages. And this is the back side of this page I made. And I did not do anything with it, but I sewed it because when I sewed this, I also put this on. And this is just like never did not embellish this any further besides from the little <laughs> bow here um and this um i want to put on here i did some stamping on here because you know i just felt like it and did some stamping here and now i think I'm going to attach it with a few dots of glue because paper clips will not hold that well. So I'm going to do some dots of glue and, um, and then sew it. And let's see, I cannot do that on camera because then I'm going crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to do that off camera. But before I'm going to sew this, I think I'm going to do the the hinges first on this fabric sew it to sew it like this and then sewing the whole piece on it so do you follow me i hope so and i think i'm going to do that and we'll come back to you when we're going to glue the pocket and i have a really nice card i have to finish up I will do that on camera which I'm going to do in the pocket so you can see a little bit of my uh, crafting as well so hope uh, this will go quickly and I will be back as soon as possible I have sewn it all together and I'm very pleased with the result the envelope and all the backgrounds are all sewn together and of course the page before because when I sew it's front and back so I have two pages finished which I do love and let me explain what I did I had to do a bit of strategic planning as I said and the first thing I did was just have a good look at everything and what I did first was I had two strips of paper, those two. I did a zigzag so that those two were attached to the paper. I must say that I did a little drops of glue to po position it, otherwise it will go anywhere. So it was uh, a little bit glued down. So did the zigzag and then I did um <laughs> let's see if i still know what i did um it's very hard to uh, remember okay and then i um i did these hinges i stitched them with a cross and i stitched it to this uh, fabric first the envelope uh, was the last thing I uh, sewed on. And then because this fabric uh, was a little bit too short, I solved it with some of this uh, lace. It looks a little bit like, it's about a bit thicker like knitted lace or I don't know how you call it. Um, 
So I did that and I think it looks very nice. Um, and then let's see, when I stitched all around, I stitched with this side up. And so this was the back side of stitching and I don't know um, why uh, it does that. I don't know if you have the same problem, but when I stitch with my machine, I have the back side is not really nice uh, looking. Like this side is a really nice stitch. As maybe you can see that really just a normal nice stitch. And the other side, it's like this. And you see the, the, the points from the needle um, through the paper and that's white, but it's also not really um, a nice stitching, what you see. So what I did with these, uh, I left these um, white and these, I did with a little bit of uh, scorched timber, uh, distress oxide and a watercolor pencil. I just um, like dabbed with my um, brush. I left these white so you can see the difference. Uh, this looks way nicer, I think, than this. So I'm going to do this as well, but just to show you the difference. Um, so I did that. So this is a pocket and it needs some decoration, but that's okay for now. Here inside the um, envelope, you see the stitching. And I stitched it like this. And then uh, the final thing I stitched was here. But I only stitched here and here. The cross I already made before. Uh, so I don't have that much stitching inside the envelope. I didn't know if it would damage the paper if I went a lot of times uh, sewn across this. Okay. So now I just need to um, glue this. I'm going to do that. I have already inked the edges. I already did that before and attached um, the bread and this, um, I think you call it gauge dial. I thought it was because you write it, write it like this. And then in Dutch you say, ow. So it would be like gouge, but it's gauge. So I know that now because I looked in my translator app and then you can um, uh, put it on the microphone and then it says the translation. So now I know how to pronounce <laughs> it. But this is um, something I would normally not really buy these uh, dials. But it gives a really nice contrast, I think, with these kinds of patterns like the flowers and, you know, the more organic. And then the numbers and the more, well, how do you call it, technical things. It, uh, it gives a really nice uh, contrast. So I'm going to glue this. And in the... Um, and when it dries, I'm going to make uh, some cards already selected uh, something. Uh, it's laying here. I will show you in a bit. And what I did, uh, this, because now it's the next day, because yesterday I was all day busy. I put a photo on my new Patreon page and I've just uh, set it up. And it's uh, with a free membership, so you can just um, click and uh, go to the page. And on the free uh, membership, you uh, see uh, everything I'm doing. So it doesn't need to be that, you know, uh, Instagram, really nice. It's more informal. And I like that to do it a bit more informal. 
and uh, just have some maybe a small community there and we can just chat about everything crafty like that and I will show you some things I am doing in my craft room like organizing because I had so many like little you have the your bottles of paint and your inks and your embossing powders and uh, there's so many little things and I didn't really know how to organize that I don't know if you have the same problem but I made a really nice um, with some kind of wooden cubes on my desk and it's really great I have to do like reach out and I have it it's super super I feel really really organized right now so head on to my patreon page if you want to see a picture of my desk and how that looks Meanwhile, trying to concentrate <laughs> on gluing and doesn't need that much glue. Using the, the art glitter because that's a really fast drying glue. And I've used a lot of my collage medium on uh, those boxes I glued in yesterday. Because I had to, they were like a self built kind of packages and it needed some glue. And I thought, well, collage medium is, of course, really nice for all materials. So I have to buy a new bottle, I think. <laughs> okay. Let's see the pin. So when that's drying, going to do the cards. Add this to the side and then I have already been preparing some cards I have cut the cards with the matching die that goes with the envelope so I know I have the, the size that uh, fits and I didn't want to make it too bulky so I did some collage paper from the serendipity and that's these um, C this was kind of a C um, look photo there were like one picture and i just spread it out on two cards because in the back of this book i have another envelope so i'm going to make two and what i already also did was on the day that i didn't have that much inspiration on working on the journal i just went and made tags uh, like this and I selected a curated snippet and a tag for every card and that's how I want to assemble it and I think that will be a really nice um, card for in the envelope and I want to make a pull out with a string with a little label on it that's also the labels also I love the it's the I think curator die set from chapter three i really love all the dies that go with that and i did <laughs> in an evening i um did so many of the labels as you can see it's like a little tin but it's full with this little label so i have like enough for the coming projects so Let's see, I need to ink these uh, curate snippets that I didn't do Then glue that on and this one. So this a bit of real time uh, crafting. Okay, so position did I have so I'm going to make two holes and put one here I think this one I thought about doing it like here not too much on the photo or maybe on the photo I think it's a shame to put it on the photo but I don't know 
I do like the composition. And if I don't want to do it on the photo, it has to be like here. And then I don't know. I don't know what's better. I don't know if you can. I think this is too close to each other. And this. It just. I think this is better. No, here. Here. It's going to be there. Okay. Then I'm going to do this. I love to work with uh, tweezers when it's really small and want to put it directly on the good spots. And I said about here. Yeah. Let's commit, like they say. So this is one and then the other was, this one is going, I think on this side, then this will go on that side. Yeah. Let's do that. And put this one here. Not a real science, I just like has to kind of look good. I think it's maybe kind of feel for composition. Yeah, intuition or something, I don't know. Then I want to do two holes. And what I do is I do uh, markets with a pencil because when I just go and snip it with my crocodile, I know it's going in another spot. It's just, and I can use my uh, glass moth for a reference that it's kind of in the same area like here it's a quarter inch or like maybe half inch let's do half and then no i want it here here it's like how that's three eighths i think you call that i have a metric system so i have to get a little bit uh used to the inches and then like here because i don't like when it's off it's like when you see a painting on the wall and that's not straight <laughs> it's just offsetting for me so that's why i want these kinds of things i want them kind of that it's not distracting Okay, so I've made two holes, two marks, and then do the small setting. Then I can just look through and make the punch here and here. Well, that looks really nice and even. Then I'm just going to put them on top of each other so I don't have to measure it all out twice. And I just put a mark in the middle. I'm not going to put an eyelet in because then it will get a little bit too bulky. It's nicely under the bird, so... Okay, and then I have some really nice uh, thread. I got that in a Happy Mail from someone. I've been Googling it and she found it in a market in somewhere in France. So it's not, <laughs> we cannot, we cannot uh, find it in a shop. So it, it's, it's like this, it's very thin and I don't know. 
what it's like. I don't know how the material will will be called in English, but it's really nice. It's thin and I don't know. It has some character to it. And oh, I'm putting it away, but I want to use it. So I want to put that through. And let's see if I'm doing it like this. Put that through. Also put stamp something on the back. And <laughs> didn't show that uh, nice field label. It's, all, it's always a nice opportunity to use some really nice stamps on back of cards. Okay, so it will probably will not then I have to like tie it or or do it separately because I don't want it in the middle. I think I have to do this one with a different string and then this one I want to do it like this and then with a little uh, label because I saw that in a make from a Tim Holtz video I saw that I really love that and thought that's what I'm going to do with my next envelope okay let's see if I have this then I'm going to put this card in it will go like how deep like this and then I want to be able to pull the card out by the string like this so um, do I want to pull it out there or there I think maybe here that's way nicer, but I can tie it, um, tie it on the back. As you can see, I'm just figuring it out. So I need a little label and, um, let's see the label I can, do I have to knot that? Oh, there's so many things to think about. Let's see. Let's choose a label, a little one, um, which will fit light gray dark i think uh, darker gray and if i'm going to put that through maybe i have to do a knot in it and then this will come out so you can see it and then you can pull the card out all right it's just a matter of length but i can do it a bit longer and i can always shorten it let's do it just a little bit longer <laughs> because i don't know <laughs> um, i don't know how long okay so it's like this and I'm going to tie it on the back, right. Okay. So now I have a card, with a little label and I can, um, figure out if I just want to have it like this, or maybe should I have knotted this? What do you think? Maybe that was, should have been better to do that. Maybe oh, I can still do that. Of course, of course, I'm going to do that. I think that's better. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Let's do that. Let's put the card in and see if this works. And then I have this 
closed and when you open it it opens like this i love it i think this is really great you can even maybe tuck it behind here yeah all my pages are just falling out bits of paper okay let me show you this is the little label and I can stick it here if I want to. And um, I do need some to go around here. I can also use this uh, stuff or maybe something else. I will have a look, but I do need to put this one on. And I'm going to do that with the same thread that's this and just put that through then I'm not going to show you how I do the other one because <laughs> this is taking so long <laughs> for you to watch okay so I think I have it now And this is going to be like that. Okay. <laughs> this is the this is the tag. What do you think? If you have like well, you could do that in a very much more easier way, please let me know. <laughs> uh, but for now I did it like this. So this is going to go in here. This is going out, and this is in there just only want to figure out what kind of uh, threads I'm going to use around here. I have some nice one, but I have to look inside boxes um, to see what I want to use. I think maybe a, a darker one. So I'm going to show that to you in the next clip or so. Let's see how long the video is right now. Um, and let's see what I'm going to move on to. I uh, thought about doing the lace here, but not sure. So that's why I clipped it. Don't want it to be all. I love a little bit of lace, but it just I don't want lace everywhere. And then I'm going to the next signature, or I can complete this signature by doing the first page. But that would be a challenge because it has to do with the look of the cover. So I think I'm going to do the last, the first and the last page. I'm going to leave it. Um, when I have a much more clear picture about what I'm going to do with the cover. So we have this ready. We have this ready. This one needs something. I don't know what. This one needs a card. Uh, and this needs a string and then we go to go with the next signature that is embellishing a little bit of embellishment on this one and then going to do this page this page and the envelope and the pockets okay so i think i'm going to uh, do a, a lot of stuff off camera and a check in once in a while to show you some some process um, nuggets okay so maybe this will be part two um, I think I'm going to do that and do the the next signature in a part three if I'm going to do that then I'm going to close off the video and of course um, going to make some nice photos for you do uh, look me up on uh, patreon i've just set up that page so i would love it if you take a look there and bye for now bye always on always on my mind and way out of my league you were born you were born to be on display And I'm hard to read